guys, welcome to day two of Eichmann 2018. Crowds are a lot bigger today, so let's see if I can manage to get some good shots. Suzuki V-Stroms are a very popular option for some crowds. Unfortunately, the low ground clearance and the poor instrumentation don't make it the best choice for some. Unfortunately, the popular DRZ400 is not sold in Europe due to pollution constraints. But when you have Huskies at 701s clearing those pollution restrictions, why can't you have a 400 do it as well? Guys, Kawasaki versus 1000, a uh, new option in the market, uh, and for those who like a more futuristic look, there you go, versus 1000. Interesting proposition for Moto Guzzi. It's definitely bold and risky, and I like the looks of it, but uh, ergonomics seem to be more appropriate to ride sitting down. But anyway, I think it's a very good looking bike, and uh, I think it might make a lot of people happy, especially if you're mostly riding on tarmac. Well guys, first impressions of the 790R, uh, the ergonomics seem pretty good too, just like yesterday when I tried the Tenere 700. It does make a big difference between the R model and the Adventure model. I felt a lot more comfortable on this one, both standing up and sitting down. The seat does feel comfortable, but again, we're only sitting here for a minute. We have to see it, you know, on the road and test ride it for sure. The center of gravity here, I think it's the big player here. There's a huge difference between the center of gravity of the 790R and the Tenere 700. And that will make the difference because the weight is pretty much the same. So, looking forward to testing this bike, and I think you should too.
Linden Poskett's bike. Pretty cool. Guys, it's impossible to film here at the BMW booth. It's just so many people. Here's an interesting proposition from CF Motos, the most reputable Chinese manufacturer. It's a shame they don't do something a little bit more versatile, more dual sporty, because this would be a great platform to develop into something like that. Well guys, this escaped my attention yesterday, but this is the prototype for a CRF 450 Rally. Now this is very exciting news, but uh, if it's going to come with the same engine as the 450L, I don't really understand what Honda is doing. The 450L has very short service intervals. It's got very short valve checks as well for a dual sport, for a traveling bike, and this is exactly what this could be, the bike we all been waiting for. Something that is lightweight, that you can hop on the trails and ride with performance, and then hop back on tarmac and go back home with a little comfort. Very exciting bike, this is exactly what we need at 450, something that can roll on the freeway with, you know, with ease, something that you can do mountain roads with a little power, and go off-road and have as much fun as you'd have on an enduro bike almost. You know, we want this. Make this with an engine that has, you know, long service intervals that we can cross, you know, continents with it, and we'll be happy.